Hey guys and welcome to Emiya B Rose where you can find so many encouraging videos including faith videos, fashion, lifestyle, hair care videos and so much more. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll be speaking at an event on the 17th of November. The Lady and Her Lord, your current situation is not your final destination. Check out the tickets below if you'd like to come and I'd like to meet as many of you as possible. Please also check out the Modest Life by Rosemary.com which is my blog. You can also subscribe if you'd like to receive weekly encouragement, regular giveaways and you'll be the first to know about information so it will be all exclusive to you. So definitely subscribe to the mailbox, I look forward to seeing you over there. So today I wanted to talk about the protein and moisture balance. Do you, with your natural hair, care about the protein and moisture balance? Are you aware of it? Is it something that affects you? Is it something you are actively doing? Some people say as naturals that they are protein sensitive. Me personally, I haven't really noticed that, but because I'm not like actively relaxing my hair or stripping my hair of any protein, I don't have to actually use strong protein treatments in order to replace that loss of protein. So what I do once a month is use a light protein treatment. Now, a clear example of this is the, is the Jamaican black castor oil treatment mask by Shea Moisture. That really works well in my hair. I really like using that because it just helps me to balance things out. I don't need a heavy moisture, a heavy protein treatment. I've also heard someone talking about, I can't remember who it was, but they were saying that if your hair is like dry and you keep using moisture treatments in it, if you just use like a protein treatment, maybe a light protein treatment, it can balance things out for you. And I actually kind of see that in the way that my hair feels when I finished having a protein treatment a light protein treatment i see kind of like the balance and my hair is just thankful and it's moisturized and it's juicy and it's just ready to receive moisture treatments for the rest of the month so have you tried it this is a hot topic that i want to talk about because i think it's really important that we kind of are intentional about our hair journeys we know what we're doing to our hair and we know why we're doing it we're not just doing it because a youtuber told you to but you actually have a routine that you can stick with in order to get healthy hair how do you know if you're protein sensitive if you are the best way to know something is to experiment and sometimes it can be at the risk of our own hair but how are we going to know we can't just keep going by what we're told all the time online we have to actually know for ourselves because every head of hair is different of course you have similar hair type but every head of hair is different so it's not going to be the same and you need to kind of experiment and know that for yourself so that's what i want to talk about today guys please let me know do you use protein in your hair do you use light protein in your hair have you experimented do you know about these things what is your take on all of this i'll speak to you soon and i'll see you in the comment section see you soon bye